So that's um, 1.0 last year. Anybody was at the Gatsby talk here? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So how many sites did you build? <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> let's uh, look back the history 10 years ago. Who are the big website builders 10 years ago? So WordPress is the biggest, Drupal Joomla in 2007. And uh, so why would you uh, build uh, a static website with just HTML? There's a great uh, WordPress uh, documentation page and query overview, it's just a short sample. What goes on if you try to uh, get a WordPress page? It's like magic what happens. And the magic that it's, uh, it's fast, but actually you see there's lots going on. <laughs> so today, that's uh, who are the big uh, uh, website builders today in 2010 years later? So there's something called JavaScript fatigue, you know, every day a new static site builder. But so I recommend use WordPress PHP, you know, nothing changed. <laughs> 10 years later, WordPress Drupal Joomla. And so in 10 years, like who is going to the big one? WordPress is growing 28% of the internet uh, WordPress sites and they want more and more. <laughs> but now the big question, static website builders, who are the big guys? <laughs> well, let's say who are the small guys? So in 1999, Dreamweaver, Microsoft Front Page, Netscape, Composer, but today, so what are the big ones? And React is, is kind of big, so hello Gatsby. And so let's get started with uh, Gatsby by Kyle Matthews. And to get started, it's in JavaScript, so and uh, it's a JavaScript library. And it uses all the, it's not passwords, it uses all the great functionality. So it's using Webpack, React, React Router, and React Helmet. For example, React Helmet is from the National Football League. It's managing your HTML page head. So if you do the title or you want to add scripts to the head of your page, it's the helmet, GraphQL, Markdown, and much more. But to install, it's very easy. So you just install npm or with yard Gatsby command line. And then you get the Gatsby tool, and you can ask, like, what does it offer, Gatsby help? And it's very basic. It has a new option to scaffold a new project, startup projects. Then it has the development server. And the most important is to build your static website is Gatsby build. And to test your build production is Gatsby Surf. So that's really all. And to get started, the Hello React World, it's uh, if you say Gatsby new Hello and then the Hello World starter, it's basically it's, uh, nothing else than just cloning the starter repo on GitHub. So you can actually do the same git clone the starter, Hello World, and then you change the directory install and get be developed and your site is live and uh, that's how easy to get started and the smallest the smallest hello world gets be website is really in version 1.0 there's you don't need anything of course you need your hello world page so in this case the page is the index.js page it's everything is in javascript of course you don't need html it's inside your JavaScript. And then Hello React World, which is the functional style for a React component. And that is uh, the, uh, the smallest real world uh, Gatsby website. And that's actually the Hello World starter if you clone it. And then, of course, you need a package JSON to pull in the Gatsby machinery. And you don't need the Gatsby link because we are not using a link here, but I added the Gatsby link. <laughs> for if you add a link later, because what is a web without a link? <laughs> you need links. So you install it, you run it, you build it. That's how e easy it is to get started with uh, Gatsby. So, uh, and the big hero is uh, Kyle Matthew. So in August, so basically last year in the summer, he started working full time on Gatsby. And of course, it's open source. Like, who is he's going to die? <laughs> how is going to how is he going to make money? So, of course, somebody hopefully is going to sponsor and uh, for addition. But the trivia quiz question is: How many npm package do you think does uh, Kyle Matthew has posted on on npm? So the question is: Does he have a hundred plus? 
200 packages, published 500 or more than 1,000. To give you context, the Vienna React Mafia, Nick Graf, <laughs> there's 49 packages. <laughs> Who has more? And then uh, Max, 35, or Patrick, seven packages. And so click for the answer. So the, the uh, slideshow is also online. So if you see the link above, it's... Uh, anyway, the answer is it's more than 1,000. So pretty amazing. So the, the example site, it's called Stay Static. So I've built the Stay Static site. It has uh, posts, pages, uh, the about page, and a data file for the bookmark link. So I collect static site collectors, <laughs> uh, page, uh, so generators, builders. And I've built it like 15 every month, a new one. And after a couple of years, you know, y I have a collection. But it's online, stay static on GitHub. And that's the, uh, the website <coughs> to look into. So there's the live example, stay static GitHub. And so that's the, uh, the about page, a simple page. And then there's a blog. So that's the blog posting. And then next page. And on the front page, it has uh, the data list with the bookmarks. So these are the, the bookmarks. So uh, a super simple site. And uh, before, why would anybody use Gatsby? So last year, the, the, the big selling point of Gatsby was, of course, uh, hot reloading in development mode with Webpack. So you have your editor open and you change anything, your CSS, your HTML. You don't even have to touch your browser. It automatically gets refreshed in your browser live. So if you have a big screen, so there's a video online. And it works not only for the React Web Components, for it works for writing in, in Markdown, even your styles and even your configuration. And it didn't work in the old version of Gatsby. If you added new files, it didn't pick up the new files, so you had to restart the server. But Gatsby, the new version, it's also working with uh, new files. Without restart, it automatically includes new files. It's magic. And the new selling point version one, it, uh, Gatsby didn't have a website on its own <laughs> for almost like uh, one and a half years. Just, just uh, like two or three months ago, webs, uh, Gatsby got its own website. And so now they're the main selling points, modern web technology, React, Webpack, and GraphQL, and so on. So there's really a progressive web app. And the important part is, you know, out of the box, it's kind of like the Create React app. You don't have to really, uh, don't have to do anything. It's all uh, made up, you know, ready to use, set up. So if you create a new website, so that's the file structure for this example. So we have the blog post in Markdown. And then we have the about.js, that's the, the page. And then the index.js, that's the front page. We have a layout. And then we generate the, the, the posts, the blog posts. So we, there's a template, post.js, that gets wrapped inside the index.js layout. Then we have the, the, the bookmarks in link.js. And still, version two, that's the exercise to, for taking home to use uh, CSS in JavaScript, so that's just plain vanilla CSS styling. <laughs> and then, of course, some uh, components. But the thing is, everything is a component, of course. The about page is a component and the footer header. So uh, to get started again, the about page, how easy it is. You just add about JS. The important part, it's not HTML, about JS. And then the export default is your web component, which is the page that gets wrapped into the layout. And so if you use HTML, so this looks like HTML, but you know what it is? It's the JSX. So it's not HTML, but it's the uh, it's React. Create React. Uh. And uh, of course, writing HTML is even, if you do writing, it's too much of a hassle. You just want the text. So Gatsby out of the box, you can use uh, Markdown. And if you use Markdown, you can also use uh, for your metadata, for your titles, tags, categories, the front meta, because it's the metadata up front. And it's called the uh, format, it's called, uh, it's the YAML format, but basically it's just key value pairs. And you can add your key value pairs uh, and even nested key value pairs. And that's how easy it is to create uh, your blog. 
and Gatsby Markdown Madness. <laughs> there are hundreds of Markdown flavors. So the current version uh, is using Remark because the Remark is kind of the post CSS. It gives you an abstract syntax tree. And then it's again, it's plugins. Then you can put in plugins to, to, um, to tune the Markdown with new features. And so there's uh, the Gatsby, uh, the Gatsby Remark plugin has uh, its own plugin system. <laughs> so it's a plugin in the system, in the plugin system for the plugin. And it has, for example, code highlighting, or it has um, mat mathematic equation, or important part is if you have images in your post, they get linked over, or responsive images, iframes, iframes for videos, for example. So it, you can add in, in videos in your markdown and they get super nice formatted. Yeah, so super easy, the, the bookmarks a data file, just uh, use JavaScript instead of JSON. And how, how do you use it? These are just three bookmarks. It's all is just React Web Components. So this uh, component, it's called a linked list. And I give it the links. And then it loops over the links and it builds uh, HTML, like the list you have seen on the front page. So there's no magic. And the next are uh, the loops in your template. So the template language, of course, is React with JavaScript. And so if you do a uh, loops, if you want to loop over the uh, the blog posting, the news posting. So this component is called post lists. So uh, you get the, as a property, you get the posts. And then I loop over the posts and I have the title. And then here you see the Gatsby link. That's, uh, that's the routing because it's a single page application. It catches, uh, if you click a link, it does, uh, it, it catches the link and then it doesn't fetch it from the server, but it already has it, the page built in as, uh, as, a, as a bundle. So you use, instead of an anchor tag, you use link to. And the link to is imported from the Gatsby link. So that's uh, also taken care of. But uh, under the hood, basically, is the React router. So the next one you want includes, if you have your master template, so this is the layout master template. It has a header, then it has the main body, and it has a footer, and you can add more stuff. But how difficult is it? So it's all React, so if you want to include uh, building blocks in your layout, of course, everything is a, a component, everything is React. So you just import the header, you and you import the footer, and then the magic is you get uh, Stan standard React, you get the children, and the children is the body that gets passed in. In this case, it's, it might be the front page, or it might be the, the news, the blog posting, or, or the page. And let's look at the header and the footer. <laughs> so the, the footer is, uh, if you've seen, stay static sample site with a link. So there's not really much magic. And this one, the, the header, it's using uh, the metadata for the site for the site title. So the site title is not hard coded, but you can in your configuration, you have like the site author site title, and then the, the component gets the data passed in, the <coughs> data property, and the data property has the metadata from your configuration. And I have a classic table layout, sorry. <laughs> it's not Flexbox or anything, but you see it has the link. <laughs> Link to the about page, and uh, I'm just like text the line right <laughs> with 100%. It seems to work. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, and the settings. So the settings in everything is JavaScript. So in version 1.0, the settings is in JavaScript too. And you have seen the, the title of the website. So uh, it's site metadata title, and you can add whatever author and so on and so forth. And a nice feature, you've seen the link to. Uh, if I host, I host the page on uh, GitHub, and so it's not the top level, but it's the static GitHub and that sites get speed GraphQL. And so if I add the path prefix here, every link to gets the path prefix added. And so in the old version, you had to add the path prefix helper yourself in every link. 
but now it's like the link to the Gatsby link to has it built in. You just add it here, and that's how e easy it is. And uh, that's the summary I have for like the card for all the static site builders. But the important part is JavaScript, 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 and React, React. So if you do templates, <laughs> like how do you t do templates with Gatsby? Your templates are React web components. Your layouts are React web components. Your includes are React web components. And your settings are in JavaScript, data files in JavaScript, and CSS processing. I dare you, you have to use. <laughs> there are lots of options later for CSS in JS. And the recommendation write in plain text, Markdown is supported. You might write in JavaScript too. <laughs> yeah, to build, Gatsby built. And the thing is, it's not the, the, the production build is not super fast like this one, six milliseconds, but it takes like 10, 15, 20 seconds. So the whole build for the bundler, because the new, the new, the new Gatsby 1.0, in the old version, you got one bundle JS, one file, but the new Gatsby is uh, internet scale. So every page gets its own uh, little bundle. So it's not one JavaScript bundle for the whole page for offline, but it has the feature that every uh, page has its own tiny uh, bundle. And so it builds the production. <laughs> and uh, I built, I think with React, you get like a whole big, but you can uh, use uh, pre-React to make it smaller. And that's how it looks like. It looks bad. I have to scroll down <laughs> to get the real, that's the magic. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah. So. That's the real thing. <laughs> These are the HTML pages. So the about index page, the post pages, and this uh, are is the magic JavaScript bundles for the offline and for the magic uh, loading single page functionality. So you get the best of both worlds. So if Google is, is hitting your page and you want search engine optimization or whatever, the HTML pages exist. But because it's React, you can also you can hit any page and then you have the complete website and if so it can load and cache and work offline and to push it to push it live there are many uh, hosting options git push on github pages gitlab pages search so the the search uh, motto is go live with six keystrokes so you have to enter search enter in your public folder and you are live <laughs> you, you might have to enter your credit card <laughs> number on the command line but yeah, <laughs> Go Google Firebase, there's a free tier. <laughs> yeah, Google Firebase, Netlify is getting more popular and many more. It's just HTML, FTP upload works too, <laughs> or a USB stick, <laughs> send it by mail. Yeah, and what's, what's missing? Graph Gatsby has many more goodies and the uh, um, amazing part about the new Gatsby is GraphQL. You can query any data si source at build time. And and much more. So GraphQL. Anybody know? Anybody using GraphQL? So it's another coming out of Facebook. So Facebook is actually they invented it. Invented. It started ten years ago with Facebook query language. If anybody knows Facebook, like the Facebook query language, it's just SQL. You can query your select friends and so on and so forth. But then in the modern version of the Facebook query language is the Graph query language. And it's by example. You tell it, you have to tell it what you want. You only get what you ask for, <laughs> so every field. And then you get the, the, the JSON. So GraphQL. And how does it look like? So GraphQL is built into Gatsby at build time. So you can query everything. And this is the query example. So I query the site metadata, and I want the title. And that's the result. So you see, it's query by example, you know. You, you tell it what you want, and here, title, that's the actual result. But it also can be, of course, a loop. So Gatsby has uh, many sources. One source is the file system. So you just add the, the file system plugin source, and then you can query your file system. And in this case, I s all file, and I want the birth time predecised, relative pass, and then I get, in this case, I get the my pages, index page, and uh, pretty size, and that's the, the, the JSON. And now the, the amazing part is GraphQL 
It's not a spelling mistake. Anyone know what is graphy? Graphy interactive QL. <coughs> so the graphy QL, it's the in-browser development environment code studio for exploring GraphQL. And it's built, it's, uh, or it's uh, again, it's uh, built in React, I think. But it's an open source project from uh, Facebook, so they are also using it. But you just can add it to your uh, um, application. And of course, Gatsby is using it in development. So you, if you start Gatsby Develop, you get the hot reloading webpack, but not only the webpack and everything, you get the graph GraphQL. And that's how it looks like. And the an important part about GraphQL, it knows your database schema. So it has full auto-completion. So anything you add I here, it always uh, tells you like all the properties you can select. And then here, it's the live, uh, the live thing. You can query it. And uh, a practical example, that's actually from the index page from the, from the sample. I want all my news postings and uh, I want the markdown converted into HTML. So I can query all my markdown uh, pages. And Remark was the engine. That's why it's called all markdown Remark. So I get all pages. In this case, I just have three pages. And the magic is if I add, this is just the index. But in the other thing, I want to post the, the story. If I add, there's a property called HTML. And do you think, like, what do you get when you put in here HTML? <laughs> then you get the, the HTML for the, for the markdown document. And that's how easy it is. If you want to format the date, you just have to add, uh, so you can add the format to your GraphQL. And the magic part is it supports Drupal and others, but it also supports WordPress. So you just install Gatsby Source WordPress, the plugin. And then to query the WordPress posti postings, for example, you just say all WordPress posts. And here's a collection like what you can uh, get from, uh, from WordPress. And in, in this case, it's using the WordPress REST API. So it's not going to the database but you have to have the WordPress REST API uh, running. But I think it's, it's now built in, uh, into WordPress. And, and th there are many others. And you can mix and match. So it's a whole world. And now the important part is like, if you remember uh, GraphQL, Facebook is using GraphQL uh, 10 years in production for their application. And there's something called, I think, Relay. So Relay is you fetch the data with GraphQL and then relay relays your data into your automatically into your React components. But in, 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 in Gatsby, there's GraphQL. But how does the data get into your website? And the magic is, uh, that's the index page. So all you have to do is, in Gatsby, is every web component can use a GraphQL query. And to use it, all you have to do is you have to export your query in the JavaScript module. So in, in, in this case, all I do is export the query. And that's the magic. You don't have to do more, and it's working. So step two is if you have done, it's co-located, which means in the component, in the React component, you put the, the query. And of course, you also export the, the web component. But the important part is the magic is automatically your component gets as a new property gets passed in the magic data property. And the magic data property is the GraphQL query. So it gets passed in. And in this case, if you remember, I get the old markdown remark edges. And then if I want to build up my, uh, my blog posts, all I have to do is post map. I loop over my postings. But you know, it's, it's flexible. You can loop over anything and pass in anything. That's, uh, that's the magic of GraphQL built into. And the important part is it's build time. So everything happens if you uh, build. Once, it, once you have built your website, there's no more GraphQL. It's just HTML and CSS. So uh, anybody using uh, CSS in JS, start using CSS in JavaScript. So there's uh, out of the box, there's CSS modules is built into Gatsby. You only have to do uh, name your CSS file with .module.css. That's the magic <laughs> convention. 
If you want to use style components, that's basically uh, the, the winner out of Vienna <laughs> for Max. But to use it, you just use Gatsby plugin style components. And the, the tip is to get started with the tutorials. So the tutorial actually has all the samples. So it does a uh, style components, uh, glamorous and uh, CSS modules, and many more. Or you can old school, I haven't used yet. So I just use the CSS. Yeah. So who is using this uh, Gatsby thing? <laughs> of course, there's only uh, one user. That's Carl Matthew. And his first blog is, is how I built a blog <laughs> with React JS. <laughs> so no, I'm just kidding. So that's his first blog, which was in, in WordPress maybe 10 or 15 years ago, 10 years ago. And now it's like, uh, of course, his blog is an example um, for using um, React JS. And uh, the Gatsby has a great example for if you have, OK, let's see the live site, of course. And it's open source. But the nice thing is the, uh, the tags. So if you have a blog and you have tags, maybe I find tags somewhere, then it generates all the, the archive and tag pages automatically. OK, so but that's also a feature of, of, of Gatsby. You can, uh, you can build, uh, you have a hook, create node and create page. Uh, and then you, can, uh, you don't have to create uh, the page like uh, on your file system, but you can create it in JavaScript on the fly, like the archive page, the tag pages, and so forth. OK, let's get this um, next example. Some um, other great real world examples. So this was a, a personal uh, was a personal blog. It's great for blogging. Get started. And there's a Git Gatsby blog starter package. The reason ML reason is like the next version of JavaScript or a functional the documentation site from Facebook. It's built in in Gatsby and it's also uh, it's also uh, open source. So if you click on the I have the link yeah. Up and it has a, it's a documentation with not just a single page, but it has really a table of contents and the API. Let's try the API or the guide. So this is all, uh, it's all Gatsby. Let's tr see this one here. So I have the, if, if anybody, the link here on GitHub, that's the source link. And there's, there are many more. There's uh, how to graph. This is a great uh, to free tutorial for learning, uh, including videos for learning GraphQL. And of course, it's built with Gatsby. And the great part about this, it's, it's a, a learning tutorial website, interactive with Playground. So it's like lots of React uh, magic. So these are some examples. And of course, I encourage you to, uh, on the Gatsby Showcase, on the um, more sites, your website, <laughs> your next blog. And uh, yeah, if anybody's interested to compare Hugo, Chaikil, Millman, so the Stay Static on GitHub has, has um, all these examples. So if I go to this uh, Stay Static on GitHub, it's super exciting, you know, it's the 2.2 MFC. But the important part is, you know, every site looks the same. <laughs> That's the goal. So there's Metal Smith, Gatsby, Hugo, and pretty boring because, you know, they all look the same. <laughs> so, yeah, static site builder. So, who are the big guys? If you measure uh, in GitHub stars, so Gatsby is actually last year, it was pretty new, but now Gatsby is the second most popular JavaScript. So the Hexo is, is popular in, in China. It's like, like a clone of Jekyll. Then Hugo is the big one uh, like growing. And Jekyll is, thanks to GitHub, it's still the biggest one with GitHub stars, 30,000. But Gatsby has like 12,000 uh, 12, stars. Yeah. And to get started, I recommend, if anyone, the tutorial is fantastic on the Gatsby site, four parts. So if you go to Gatsby tutorial and uh, yeah, it has also, you see parts 
2. It already has the style components, CSS modules, and uh, the exciting part, part 4, GraphQL queries. And that's, uh, that's it. So there's uh, the last recommendation. You know, if you think uh, you, uh, you don't want to go, or the recommendation, build your own static site, site builder. There's no shame, you know. <laughs> there are lots, uh, don't use Gatsby. Build your own, you know, it's easy. <laughs> and there are lots of, uh, just some examples of React static website builders. Phenomic, I think that's serverless or others. Anybody using Phenomic uh, website? Yeah, I think that's a, a fantastic uh, tool too. Might uh, I think it doesn't the new feature is GraphQL in uh, in Gatsby. So I'm not sure if Phenomic has the the GraphQL because the GraphQL was actually inspired by Leo, super awesome labs Leo. So this tiny uh, React.js static website builder has the GraphQL was the inspiration for Gatsby 1.0. And then there's Next.js version 3. It has a static export. And I th think there are many, many more. And yeah, thanks for if you have questions. Uh. So let's do a quick Q&A. Um, because we, st like we still have uh, one more speaker to go. Um, so let's do five minutes Q and A. Um, if we still have like more questions, we will yeah, move the discussion to to make room for the next speaker. Is questions? There, is there GraphQL support? Uh, is it during build? So it fetches the data and puts them on the like the yeah. package statically, or is there anything dynamic? Yeah, if you the, the GraphQL in Gatsby, it's only at build time. Only at build time. Okay. Because that's the idea. You know, yeah. it's a I know, I know. it's a static build, so you. Yeah, so so the, the development, the, the GraphQL development environment is, but of course it's um, JavaScript, so you can add, you can fetch. You know, yeah. if you use HTTP fetch in your website, yeah. you can make it dynamic. Uh, and add it, uh, but the. So, hey, um, you mentioned React Helmet. Uh, my question is, can you add into those uh, markdown meta tags there, can you add the open graph, like the Facebook graph uh, tags? Like yeah, sharing yeah. The yeah, if the, the if, if I understand your question, then yeah, you can, um, there's the, the post template and the post template so that the markdown gets wrapped in the post template, which is the React component and this JavaScript. And so this component, you, you add the, the query. So let's see this. So that's the, uh, the source. Everything is packed in the source here, neatly, tightly. And then there's the templates. So if you have the markdown, it gets put into this post JS here. With here. Danger is that in a HTML, <laughs> post HTML, that's the markdown. But for example, in the page, if you've seen, I have here a GraphQL to get all the, uh, so that you would have next and previous. But in my example, I don't have next and previous, but I have all the news stories in the single page. But that's how you add, if that's answering the question. So if you have markdown, you can add it in your. Oh, okay. Yeah, for, for this, for the, uh, the meta tag, yeah, I think the, the, the helmet, if you, the helmet manage the, the head of the page, yeah, then you add it here. So that's the idea of the, the, the helmet. You can add it, uh, the metadata, which goes in the page, you add in the template. And then the metadata you fetch from the front meta from your posting. But then it gets added to the HTML page in the, the meta tags for Twitter and Facebook and for, yeah, yeah. So let's, so okay, let's. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can compose. The, the idea of, of GraphQL is that it's abstract, which means if you fetch the data, it might 
the, uh, it might fetch the data from uh, multiple sources, but also the GraphQL is, is nested. And the other thing, I think it's on this, there actually this has this uh, the answer to your question. It has two GraphQL queries. It has the old Markdown remark, which gets all the news postings. In this case, uh, just three postings. And then it has the Markdown remark with the Slack equal, which is the single posting with the HTML. And for the others, I don't need the HTML. I just need the title and, uh, and the Slack. So you can add as many as you like. But the other thing about GraphQL, so this doesn't have to come from a single source. That's the idea. It's not that you can behind can be any magic. Uh, One last question. Yeah. Um, sure. What is Carl working on right now? Where do you think, uh, where is it going? What, what does Gatsby 2.0 maybe look like? Yeah, I think the, the idea is to add, uh, like, because, uh, um, yeah, I have no, uh, but I think the idea is, yeah, to, to, to it's version 1.0, and the idea is to get more, to the documentation, I think. <laughs> if you look at the documentation, so the tutorial is, is great, but I think part five is missing, and then also managing all these thousands of plugins. So finishing and deploying a website, React Helmet, is uh, that's still missing, so it's coming. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it creates, uh, so Gatsby 1.0, and then create more startup packages uh, to get started. And uh, so I think th it's a great, th with the plugin, great foundation, but now you have to, uh, but yeah, I, I cannot speak for, okay, let's do the helmet, the last one. Yeah, thanks for. Uh, thanks again. Uh, for